Okay, guys, now that Terminator Dark Fate has been released in the movie theater, I have seen all six Terminator movies. And I think it's about time now that we actually rank all six Terminator movies. And I think we should really kind of start with the best to the worst. Now, I put up a poll on my community page on the YouTube channel, and I let you rank the movies post Terminator 2 Judgment Day. And I'm going to put those in at the end of this video. So with that being said, let's get started on number one. In the number one spot of the best Terminator movie of all time, to no one's surprise, it is Terminator 2 Judgment Day. This is not only the best Terminator movie, it's also one of the best movies of all time. I think clearly it is a top five movie ever made. It was just amazing. The special effects were groundbreaking at the time. And to tell you the truth, when you look at the newer Terminator movies, the special effects in Terminator 2 Judgment Day really just kind of blow them out of the water. Clearly, Terminator 2 Judgment Day had better special effects than Genesis and Dark Fate. But the story of Terminator 2 was very, very interesting. This is really the first time we we're introduced to John Connor, the future leader of the resistance, even though he's a little kid in this movie. Linda Hamilton turns into one of the greatest heroes of all time. She is a human weapon. Don't mess with her because she is an absolute killer in this movie and she is ready to kill. Arnold is Arnold in this movie. Robert Patrick as T-800, T-1000, I should say, was absolutely amazing. Okay, taking over the number two spot, let's go with the original The Terminator in 1984. This movie really made Arnold Schwarzenegger a household name. This was a sci-fi horror movie. When you watch Arnold Schwarzenegger in, as a T-800 in this movie, he absolutely scared you to death in that movie. It was a low-budget movie, James Cameron, Nobody knew who he was then, but a lot of people would know who he was after this movie. And he became a legend after Terminator. No doubt about it whatsoever. This was the first movie where we actually heard Arnold say, I'll be back. First movie. And he actually wanted to say, I will be back. But James Cameron said, no, you should say, I'll be back. And he has made that line legendary. No doubt about it whatsoever. So now let's jump into number three. Number three, I think, is where a lot of people will differ when it comes to the post James Cameron Terminator movies. And I think in the third spot, this movie is also one of the most underrated movies of all time. I'm going with Terminator Salvation. This was the fourth Terminator movie directed by Mint G starring Christian Bell as John Connor with the Future Wars. This was the most different Terminator movie post Terminator 2 Judgment Day. This movie, like I said, was very underrated. I had a lot of fun watching this movie. Was it perfect? No, it's nowhere in the, in the league of Terminator 2 or the Terminator. But it gave us the future wars. It gave us something we had been waiting so long to see. And it's unfortunate that the, the sequels to that movie never happened because that movie was supposed to start a trilogy just like Terminator Genesis and just like Terminator Dark Fate. And it's unfortunate because I think that movie was very, very good and very, very underrated. The special effects look really, really good. It was groundbreaking. Not a lot of digital special effects in that movie, even though they had a lot, I should say. But it looked very, very real. It didn't look fake. So Terminator Salvation, easily number three for me. Now, coming in the fourth spot, I'm going to go with Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. The movie came out in 2003. This was Arnold's third portrayal of the T-800. And in this movie, there was nothing you can do. Judgment Day was inevitable, even though they had stopped Skynet in Terminator 2 Judgment Day. No Linda Hamilton in this movie, so they just killed her off off screen. They said she died of leukemia. And John Connor would face Judgment Day. Judgment Day actually happens in this movie. And Kristana Loken plays TX. I actually like the TX in this movie. 
Um, there was a very comedic angle with the arrival of the T-800. That scene I really didn't like too much. And, you know, him with the goofy glasses eh, didn't work for me. But overall, I thought it was an OK movie. It wasn't terrible. Now. Let's get to the last two movies, which I think are not good Terminator movies at all. So coming in the fifth spot would be Terminator Dark Fate. Now, Terminator Dark Fate is really about the betrayal of John Connor as a character to me. And I couldn't get over that. I thought about ranking this movie above Rods and, Rods and Machines, but to come think of it, no. It's just not a better movie than Rise of the Machines. This is a bad Terminator movie. And James Cameron actually panned Terminator Salvation and Terminator Rise of the Machines. But yet, they made a bad movie here too. If you think the other two are bad movies. To me, Terminator Dark Fate was a bit time disappointment. They just got a lot of identity politics in this movie. And when you do something like that, I'm pretty much going to be out on it. So Terminator Dark Fate takes the fifth spot, which leaves the number six spot, Terminator Genesis. This movie is absolutely terrible, horrible. There is nothing good about this movie. This movie, along with Dark Fate, lost money. I don't think they made any money off of this. They probably broke even. Maybe they made a little bit of profit doing the box office, but probably not much. Let me know Dark Fate is not going to make a profit at all. But Terminator Genesis, what they did to John Connor in that movie, and plus they spoiled the whole entire movie in the trailer. They turned John Connor into a Terminator. And they let you know that in the trailer. This movie was atrocious. I can't think of one good thing about this movie. Nothing. The CGI was bad. The acting was bad. Uh, Jay Courtney as Kyle Reese. Oh my God, the casting was horrible. Nothing at all. Nothing good I can say about Terminator Genesis. The worst Terminator movie of all time. Now let's jump over to the poll I put on my community page. Now I asked you guys, what movie is the best movie post Terminator 2 Judgment Day? And to nobody's surprise to me, 44% said Terminator Salvation, 31% said Rise of the Machines, 21% said Dark Fate, and 4% said Genesis. So you guys rank, your move, rank the movies post T2 and T1 the same way I did. Terminator Salvation. I think you guys know that that movie is highly underrated. It was a lot of fun to watch. So guys, what do you think of this? Do you like my ranking? Obviously my subscribers, they like my rankings because pretty much they rank the movies the same way. So guys, let me know what you think about all this in the comments. If you're new here to the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me and we will catch you on the next video. John Matrix out.